Here we have a fishbone diagram. A fishbone diagram is used to reflect the results of brainstorming to get to the root cause of a problem. At the tip of the diagram here, we have the problem statement. For this case study, the problem statement reads, an increase in medication errors and near misses for patients under enhanced droplet isolation during COVID-19 pandemic. The following boxes include categories that provide a guide in identifying problems. For this topic, the four categories include equipment, environment, people, and regulations. The purpose of these four categories involves the brainstorming of the quality improvement team for possible reasons for the problem. Beginning with the equipment, the medication administration process in a COVID-19 unit require that the nurses scan the medications and the wristband outside of the room before entering. Because of the MAR, uh, because the MAR logs the nurse out after only a few minutes, the nurse is required to sign the medication administration before administering the medication. This increases the likelihood for medication errors. And like in this scenario, the probability of wasting medication because of either the patient refusing or after determining that the medication was inappropriate after the patient assessment. In addition to the outside barcode scanning process for medication administration, another possible reason for the problem would be the lack of sticker labels to help identify the different IV push medications to reduce the risk of medication errors and negligence. The environment during this near miss also contributed to the problem. During COVID-19, an entire unit is under enhanced droplet isolation and extra care was taken to maintain proper infection control. Because of this environment, the nurses had to waste any medication that entered the room due to contamination and could not begin with assessments before entering again with medication due to a shortage in personal protective equipment. The people involved in this near miss are also big contributors to the problem. Due to the shortage of nurses and the high acuity of the patients in the COVID unit, the hospital provided special privileges for student and graduate nurse interns to act as registered nurse extenders. The lack of experience and supervision can lead to potential medication errors and near misses. In addition to the registered nurse extenders, the senior nurses were experiencing severe burnout and anxiety with the high ratios and additional responsibilities that inhibited their ability to precept and manage their patients and students effectively. Lastly, the regulations of the hospital had an effect on the problem being discussed. Hospital regulations require that all healthcare providers don on and off PPE, as well as sanitize between patients for proper infection control. This process extended the time in between patients and resulted in nurses preparing medications such as IV pushes together to save time and PPE, even if the medication was given early. However, most medications were administered late due to the increased time spent with each patient and sanitizing. Another factor contributing to the problem was the regulation that allowed the IV poles to be set outside of the room and the ability to push medication through the same tubing without first verifying the patency of the IV or the proper flushing of the medication in between pushes needed to avoid adverse effects or medication to medication interactions. After analyzing and brainstorming all the possible reasons that are associated with this near miss involving equipment, environment, people, and regulations, the quality improvement process is facilitated by using a fishbone diagram.